What's going on guys, it's me Max, back with another episode of Offshore Entrepreneur, a program for international business people, investors and digital nomads. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about why you might want to get the Paraguay residency in 2023 or 2024, and why it's still a good option now, regardless of the changes and everything that's happened. A lot of you guys probably know, some of you might not, that Paraguay used to have a situation where you could come in put $5,000 in the bank, you then could get uh, permanent residency within about 90 days, something like that. You could get your settler, then you were able to open you know, great things like bank accounts and integrate into society pretty easy and pretty rapidly. It was one of the best residencies and the you know, cheapest residencies in the world at ta- that time. Uh, much like the Panama Friendly Nations visa used to be as well. And it was pretty easy to either get the Panamanian one or get the Paraguayan one, integrate into society and, uh, you know, leave your crappy Western nation or wherever you're from. Um, Obviously, the Panamanian one went away first and we had a lot of clients that wanted the Panamanian one and they ended up coming down to Paraguay and getting the Paraguayan one, which was their second choice because the Panamanian one was no longer available, right? So... What, what essentially happened was that uh, Panama then decided they were going to obviously make some requirements for purchasing property. And we said, and a lot of people said, that Paraguay will eventually change it as well. And there have been rumours for a while they were going to change it, but then they actually did. So essentially what has happened now is that you can still get residency in Paraguay. That residency is still valid for quite a long period of time. And it is now a temporary residency. So what happens is now is instead of going putting the five thousand dollars in the bank and going straight onto the permanent residency, what happens is you no longer have to make the bank deposit of the five k, which is actually a lot better for a lot of people. Um, so now essentially what happens is you come into Paraguay, you need a copy of your birth certificate, you need a copy of your police report, and you bring that to Paraguay apostilled. If you are in the Hague Conven- in Hague Convention countries. And then once that has been apostilled, we prepare a few of the documents that are in Paraguay, but then we can get you the temporary residency. Now, because there's been some changes to the law, um, things are a little bit up in the air again, a few details, but essentially what the situation is, is that you come in on the temporary residency, there is a small amount of time that you have to visit Paraguay occasionally, but then after two years on the temporary one, you can then get your permanent residency after that. So that, you know, the differences aren't, aren't that much. And then after a certain amount of time on the permanent residency, you are able to qualify for the Paraguayan passport, which is a pretty good passport, but it is only a five-year passport, which a lot of people don't know. It's not a 10-year passport, it's a five-year one. Um, Now, a lot of people still say, well, why would you want to live in Paraguay? What's so great about Paraguay compared to some other nations? So Paraguay, as I've said before, it's the heart of South America. It's a small landlocked nation down here in South America. And it is a country that's not going to go to war with anyone anytime soon. Paraguay produces like most of the electricity that it consumes, if not more, with the hydroelectric dam. Um, So electricity is pretty cheap. I mean, especially over the last year, I've had relatives of mine from the UK complain about electricity bills, complain about food costs. And I'm sat here in Paraguay most of the time. And I am paying, I can tell you right now, under $60 a month for my electricity. And it's Very hot at the moment, I've got air conditioning on this room, we have air conditioning running throughout the house pretty much 24 hours a day and in my office, and I can tell you right now that we are not exceeding, you know, $60 a month compared to my relatives in the UK that are spending, you know, well over, you know, well into the thousands, right? So you've got the electricity cost, which is great. The tax regime is pretty attractive, so again, Paraguay is operating on a territorial tax system. So any money that's generated outside of Paraguay is not taxed. And even when you bring the money into the country, the top personal income rate in Paraguay is around 10%. So again, if you're from a Western nation, if you're from a country that's wanting to stick its hand in your pocket more and more and more as living standards in this country get eroded, and especially after COVID when, you know, things have been pretty bad, Paraguay and the government aren't going to stick their hand in your pocket that much unless your income is derived from inside the country. And even then, the tax rates inside here are pretty minimal. Another great thing about Paraguay, and I've said this in another video, and some guy actually questioned it because he thought I was kind of talking a lot of rubbish, is that Paraguay is, per you know, for the size of it and per capita, it's one of the top food-producing countries in the world. The country actually has a surplus of food that it produces, 
So if you're a Westerner you're concerned about food or you wanting to do a bit of farming yourself and do you know small farm or an agriculture you know type project, you can do that down here at a pretty reasonable price and uh, you know enjoy those benefits if you want to live a more sustainable, self-sufficient lifestyle. Which I think going into the the age going forward, this is going to be a very important thing for a lot of people. Ultimately, what I would say is even though now you have to come in on the temporary residency. Um, the temporary residency isn't that much different from the permanent one, right? Now, there is an option where you can invest like $70,000 over about 10 years, but the government do check and you have to be pretty on the ball for it. So for most people, we st will still would recommend coming on the permanent one. Uh, sorry, coming in on the temporary one. So you're coming on the temporary one, but you still can get your settler and all that good stuff. So opening bank accounts, forming companies here and doing all that stuff is not that difficult and you still are able to do it. So, yeah, I mean, Paraguay is still a great location. It's still very cheap. It's still, you know, a land where there are a lot of opportunities and it's a land where you can reduce your taxes pretty effectively and pretty efficiently. If you are someone coming from the West and you come from a place that's become, you know, much more woke or, you know, a little bit overbearing in terms of this, uh, this new culture that's kind of sweeping the world and sweeping the West and you want to get away from it like a lot of our clients do, you can come down here, you know what I mean, you're not going to have many problems down here with that sort of stuff and you can live a happy, low tax, you know, very free lifestyle. I mean, you can own things in Paraguay like firearms, you can own them down here. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not like Texas, so, you know, you're not going to be able to walk around waving your Glock around. However, if you are someone that's into shooting, you know, there are shooting ranges down here. I mean, ammunition's a little bit expensive, but you are able to own firearms, own property, own your own land, and it is a place where agriculture and farming are still very much within the grasp of the middle-class person. So if you guys are looking for more information on how to become a global and free citizen, you can go to our website, offshoreentrepreneur.net. We are one of the top providers of residency in Paraguay. So if you're looking for that, we can do that for you. We can help you get the residency in Paraguay. Have our experts here meet you on the ground, walk you through the process, and make sure you end up here with your residency, your settler, bank accounts if you want them, and even a driving license. We can provide all that good stuff for you and make this headache and web of complicated processes seem effective, efficient, and easy. Another thing that we are also offering is tax advice for US citizens, European citizens, or you know UK citizens. If you're looking for advice on how to lower your taxes, you can book a call with our team on Calendly. I'll put the, the link in the description below. And you can reach out to us on there. We offer professional advice for people that are looking to reduce their taxes and save money. Because at the end of the day, the more money you keep and put in your pocket, you can compound that money to increase your own wealth and increase the wealth and happiness of you and your family. So anyway, guys, I thank you for tuning to the channel as usual. I thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the video, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.